Hi, my name is Pascal La Liberté, and this is my series on changing situations using mental reprogramming on yourself. Today's situation, you've got too much to do. It happened to me about a month ago, where it was a Saturday morning, and I felt anxious. Uh, I felt not ready to be able to get on with my weekend. The family was all, everybody in the family was up, and it was just, just me, and I had all these things in my head. And I felt there was an urgency for me to work on these things. And I couldn't really be disposed to be connecting with them. And so I felt I needed to take a break before starting my day and get all that cleared up. Which I did. So this video is going to be about a situation like that where you're feeling anxious and you want to get on top of your own feelings. This video will not contain the following advice. I'm not going to tell you that you just do one thing on your list and just do it real quick and then you're going to feel better. That advice would teach you the wrong thing. It would teach you the wrong lesson. It would tell you that you need to work. But the real problem here is that you have a feeling of anxiety that you have to take care of that is overtaking the rest of your thoughts basically. This video also won't be telling you that you need to calm your mind. Although that's a pretty good uh, advice, but this is not what the video is going to be about. Although, that's going to be a side effect. If you do the things that I, that, I, that I recommend you do, you will feel calmer at the end. The third advice I won't give is to simply pick one thing on your list and concentrate that on that one for the weekend and then ignore the rest. The reason why I want to give you that advice is that ignoring everything else is not really a good service to your ideas. You've got things that you're thinking about. And you probably also have the tendency to want to think of everything. You probably have a tendency, if you're like me, to want to hold off before you start and make an inventory, a complete inventory of everything. So if you're like that, if you're like, like me on that, you like to make complete lists, thorough lists of everything. You can see that as a defect, like I did for a long time, or you can basically see it as the way you work. You integrate in it as part of your process. That ability to think of every angle before you start has some benefits. You can see things that other people don't. You can think of ideas that other people don't. So just make it part of your process, and this is what we'll be doing today. The advice that I will give you in this video goes something like this. Make a thorough list of everything. That's the first step. Thorough list of everything that's on your mind. The second step will be to think about the end of things. Think about how things will end. The third step is to make lists that sound perfect. So that's going to really tickle the perfectionist part of you, but I, and it's, it's actually part of the process that I think you'll, you'll really like. When you make a list that sounds perfect, it's going to be the first sort of um, thing that you'll have vanquished, that you'll have uh, going for you during that day, and it'll feel good because you'll have a lot of clarity. So those are the three steps. Those three th steps bring you what I call at the end, a have done list, a list of what you'll have done, which is different than a to do list. And that's the first sort of list in my mental reprogramming techniques in this series of videos. The second list, which we'll start with, is a list of mental models. Mental models are these lenses that you have in your mind, these things that are coloring your perception, these convictions that keep you from seeing things the right way the way they truly are they're like a little recording that goes on in your mind that are sort of making you feel as though something is really true when it really isn't so in that moment this is really where you're at you have a moment of anxiety about the fact that you have too much to do and it's sort of keeping you hostage from your day that's what we have to get away from we have to fix that the way to deal with that is to take those recordings or these sentences that are sort of playing in your mind and 
take them out of the unconscious, out of the back, and put them in the front and write them down. So that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be writing a list of our mental models. So I make a document, mental models, and I go one by one. What's going on in my mind? Well, there's one thing that sort of is in the back of my mind, and that is if I spend 15, 20 minutes to look after everything that's on my list and to plan out my stuff, the rest of the family will ask themselves, where's dad? And maybe, maybe they will. And they'll think that he's about, he's thinking about work again. Well, so what? So that's how you answer a mental model. You, you basically test it, you answer it as if you, you're talking with somebody else. But then there's something else that comes up. Unless I spend the whole weekend working, I won't be able to catch up. Maybe, if I spend the weekend recharging, and this is my answer, maybe I'll be better off on Monday to be able to work. I feel that I'll never be able to do everything. I need to cut down and say no to a lot of things. Well, maybe that's true, but maybe you'll have a different conclusion after you do the full exercise. So this is not about teaching you to have these specific answers to your mental models, but more that the importance of putting your finger on them and writing them down and then correcting them as a first step in that sort of mental reprogramming approach. The second part now is going to be to do that exercise of writing down everything that's on my mind. So what I do is I make a list real quick and I try to see uh, I try to think of everything. But now what I'll be doing is I'll make a, a second take. So maybe I forgot something and while I'm doing this I'm going to start again from scratch from another list to, to think of everything again to see if I've forgot something. Some of, the, some of it will be the same but it doesn't really matter. It is about the exercise of doing a take two. So now what I have is I have a second list and I see that a lot of things are, are the same but I see a whole section that is new so I'm going to attach that to the first list and basically get rid of that second list now I'll have a first list the next step is to make lists that think about the end of things and so it's pretty simple all you gotta do is you gotta start with a heading that says something like this before the end of the weekend I'll have and then you got to make statements, write statements that complete the sentence that talks about what you'll have celebrated at the end of the weekend. Say you're at the end of the weekend and you're feeling, wow, I really made this work. I changed the course of the weekend by doing this exercise and I feel really good about the things I have done. And what is it that you're celebrating exactly? So by before the end of the weekend, I'll have... And of course, there's things like I'll have cooked the chicken for supper. That's basically one thing we got to do. The, the, otherwise, the chicken's going to go bad. I'll have help dad. I'll have advanced on my read it now, instant paper app. I'll have. So those are things that are coming up in my head. And um, so I realize there's not that much that needs to happen this weekend. And then, but there's a lot of other things on my list. And so maybe I can think of a different timeline. So before the end of the week. I'll have so that's the first thing uh, before the end of the month I'll have and then I put things in there and then I realize well there's a lot of things that can that can wait until next month and so I sort of throw them throw them away and it helps me sort of set the stage of these time blocks that describe uh, essentially the things I'll have celebrated at the end and then I could prioritize them. I can include them or exclude them from these time boxes. And then I could tweak the verb. And so this is the third step now, is about creating the lists and making them sound perfect. And so by writing these lists this way, you realize that they don't sound quite right because the first statement on that list really isn't that important, but it begs to be upgraded and tweaked. By the end of the weekend, it's not so important that I'll have cooked the chicken for supper as much as I made a commitment to my dad to help him out. And so that's going to be the first thing that I'll that needs to be true by the end of the weekend. And the other things can be sort of rearranged. 
advancing on my read it now instant paper app that can wait there's nothing tying me to that but also more importantly I did make a commitment to my dad but the kids are waiting for me inside I came outside here to have peace so I could like basically take the time to do this exercise but they're waiting for me inside and overall over this weekend I won't have worked and done all these things I'll have connected with them I have done some work but mostly I'll have celebrated having had a weekend where I'll have come closer to them or I have spent some good time with them recharge whatever so this begs the question to be uh, uh, modifying the list and so now I can continue that exercise of priorita prioritizing and retweaking these lists until they sound perfect for each one of the buckets of time that are coming up or I can just do it for today I can actually expand on that I can say well what I'll be celebrating at the end of the of the day or what I'll be celebrating before noon today and so this approach basically is a few habits that you can apply to very small timelines very big timelines and basically it's about writing these statements that are going to be true at the end of everything and so this whole purpose this whole exercise basically rewrites your brain rewrites your plan reprograms how you will move forward and I basically write these lists all the time I start from scratch most most of the time because today is the start of everything that's coming up and so I take the input from lists that I wrote before as ideas but basically today's list going forward is basically the authority now on what I will be doing whatever I decided to do before unless it's a, something I commit to somebody else it can be rearranged it can be changed and so this this type of this type of setup this type of list is uh, is useful in a bunch of different ways not only to lift yourself out of a Saturday morning rut but also to change situations at work so uh, or in the rest of your family so that you can rearrange how things will be done how things will be handled for example if you've got something at work and you want to talk to your boss you can say well before the end of my talk with my boss I'll have he'll have you can envision these things in your participation in these things change your mental models catch them and change them so that you can be uh, basically a leader right somebody who brings about change brings about things uh, brings about uh, improvement and so these situations like that, they're discussed in other videos in this series. If you'd like to go further with these lists and you'd like to train yourself on how to write them, uh, there's a course that I offer called the Language of Objectives course. And over 10 weeks, over email, uh, I coach you to write them. And what we do as a start is I have situations that I will send you by email, example ones that we uh, basically write these lists and you see little animated GIFs of how the list will be updated and so that you can you can see how you can apply it for yourself in those similar situations and I offer that course every five weeks and it's a 10-week course so I hope you can make it and so the next time you find yourself in a sort of anxiety laden Saturday morning uh, I hope you'll be able to give these techniques a try and that you'll be able to be disposed now after that to go and spend some time with your family and connect with them and or change situations for the better and uh, make things work so I hope that was useful and I'll see you next time